we present new algorithms for fast GPU computation of summed area tables and recursive filters. In either case, standard techniques involve a sequence of 1D filters. Our approach significantly reduces memory bandwidth using overlapped computation. In a summed area table, each element stores the sum of all entries above and to its left. An important benefit is that the sum of any 2D rectangle can be computed in constant time as a simple linear combination of entries at its four corners. For parallelism, the SAT is usually constructed in two passes. First, a prefix scan is computed in the vertical direction, then another prefix scan is computed horizontally. These two successive operations are simple 1D recursive filters. One drawback is that parallelism is limited by the number of rows or columns. A blocking strategy provides more parallelism in each 1D scan. A sum is computed per block in parallel, the algorithm is then invoked recursively on the smaller sequence, and the resulting values are used to initialize a set of parallel per block scans. Often the intermediate sequence is short enough that a sequential scan is sufficiently fast. Thus memory bandwidth is three accesses per element. While there is now sufficient parallelism, the two successive scans must both read and write memory leading to high bandwidth. Our contribution is to introduce 2D blocking, whereby each block stores data along a perimeter band. These bands are used to overlap the computation of the successive 1D filters, thus reducing the bandwidth bottleneck. The algorithm works as follows. We compute prefix sums down within each block, assigning to the lower band, and compute prefix sums to the right on those values, assigning to that band. Here are the summed regions these numbers represent. We sequentially sum the lower bands. Next, we sum these horizontal bands to obtain a single corner value per block. We sequentially sum to the right, combining the green and pink values. Now the green number 20 represents this summed region, and the blue number 4 this summed region. In parallel across blocks, we sequentially sum down from the upper band and then sequentially sum right from the left band. This completes the process. This algorithm reduces memory bandwidth by a factor two. In summary, by overlapping the X and Y recursive filters per block, we have reduced global memory bandwidth from six to three accesses per element. The prefix sum used in summed area tables is a causal first order recursive filter. The idea of overlap computation is even more beneficial on more general recursive filters. One motivating example is to find the coefficients of a bicubic B-spline that interpolates a given image. While this requires an inverse convolution in each dimension, it can be computed as a sequence of four first-order recursive filters, down, up, right, and left. Another example is applying Gaussian blur to an image, which involves convolution with a low-pass filter kernel. This can be efficiently approximated by a sequence of third-order recursive filters. A higher order filter uses feedback from several prior output values. A small prolog vector sets initial conditions, as illustrated here for a second order filter. A causal filter uses feedback from elements on the left, whereas an anti-causal filter has feedback from the right. These often appear in succession. For images, we typically have a causal-anti-causal -causal filter pair in each of the two dimensions. The problem is that computing the four filters in succession leads to high bandwidth to global memory. Our goal is to efficiently parallelize the computation while reducing bandwidth over the whole filter sequence. A key observation is that the filter output can be decomposed into two parts, one assuming a zero prolog and the other assuming a zero input vector. Let's apply this decomposition to a block-based computation of the prefix sum. Assume we already have the output of the previous block its last element is the prolog for the current block. First, we compute the prefix sum of the block, assuming a zero prolog. Second, we compute the output of the block, assuming just the prolog. For prefix sum, this simply replicates the value. Combining the two forms the output vector. The last element forms the prolog for the next block. Computations can be performed in parallel across all blocks, except for the prolog transfer across blocks, which here forms a chain of additions. The computation for a higher order filter is similar. The prolog vectors are longer, and there is now a matrix to transfer the previous prolog across a block. This small pre-computed matrix depends only on the filter weights. Here is the resulting algorithm. 
Across all blocks in parallel, assuming a zero input prologue, we compute and store the incomplete prologue for the next block. Sequentially, we compute each prologue by combining the previous one and the incomplete prologue. Finally, across all blocks in parallel, given the prologue vectors, we compute and store the output for each block. Our main contribution is to show that we can overlap the block-based computation across causal and anti-causal filters. In the same block parallel pass, we compute both incomplete prologues and twice incomplete epilogues. Sequentially, we complete the prologues and then complete the epilogues. Finally, in a second block parallel pass, we compute both the causal and anti-causal filters and store the output. As we saw in some area tables, overlapping can be applied across dimensions as well. Therefore, we can perform all four recursive filter passes, right, left, down, up, using just two block parallel passes. Overall, the image data is read only twice and written just once, and this significantly reduces memory bandwidth compared to the traditional serial algorithm.